Hello everyone and welcome to today's reflection from the Cree for our insects. Recent studies paint a grim picture of their decline across the planet and current rates could lead to the extinction of 41% of the world's insect species over the next few decades. Butterflies, bees, moths, wasps and dung beetles are among the most at risk. Along with freshwater insects such as stoneflies, caddisflies and mayflies. Insects make up over half the species on Earth. Our planet's health depends on them, so their enduring disappearance is very concerning. So let's make room for insects to thrive, create safe spaces for them, and have friendlier relationships with them. As gardeners, we could just leave some parts of our lawns on moan, as you'll see in the short video. And to help inspire us, we will hear a sermon from the Reverend Beetle, followed by Praise of the Earth from Kieran and the McGraths, Psalm 104. Thank you. This part of my garden is left on moan. And it is where you will find a lot of insects. Many of the pollinators, the bees, the wasps, the hoverflies, little parasitic wasps. And in the depths of the grass, you might find the occasional frog waiting for his next meal. Childer of earth and air. We are assembled in this holy place to do a little swithering on our own lives and the lives of the lower orders, commonly called humans. Since time began, we've been accused of living by beak and claw, of cruelty to each other and the world in general. God made us all. We're all his own creatures. To every one advantage we have, the humans have a million. The poor humans have a disease that they call civilization. We've got to help the poor creatures. This terrible scourge makes them kill each other and by the million. And not content with that, they're inventing machinery to annihilate each other by the billion. For the crimes coming out of this disease, the humans have invented words as velvety as the fur on a caterpillar and as nice as the ones they use in their prayers. Oh, honey, but isn't it a terrible practice they're in? Nearly everything the humans know, they've learned from us. Maybe they're not entirely hopeless. Their skulls are hard, but by the help of God, we may penetrate them with a few ideas of love and kindness. Mm -hmm.